Hey everybody, Eric here from Locker Lunatics. We got a, I think it's a 10 by 15 today. Not a lot of stuff in there, but a couple things I've seen that was cool. We're having a garage sale this weekend, so I was like, hey, this is a good time to get this unit. Not a whole lot in there, but uh, hey, let's make a look, see what we got. Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Not a whole lot in here, guys. Got a really cool table set. Table and chairs. Nice looking table and chair set. I seen back there is the glass. We have a mattress and box springs, which I don't normally like, but it is nice. It is new. It is clean. It's still got some plastic on it. That will sell. Got this nice little uh, antique dress here. Dresser. Or desk or whatever you might want to call it. Drawers slide really easy. Oh, missing a few knobs. Kind of rickety. Kind of rickety. Nothing in there, though. Nothing in there. I have nobody here to help me today. So I am winging this, and I forgot my tripod, so it's double negative. Hey, check those lamps out, though. Those lamps are cool. I think there's another one over here. Yeah, those are marble. Those are pretty cool. And, oh, hey, guys, by the way, let's talk about what I give for this unit. I only give $30 for this unit. We have a little mystery. What's in the box? What is that? <laughs> What are they? No idea. Anybody know what that is? A lock and unlock. I think some kind of a pond filter or something like that. Okay, let's come over here. Take a look. Oh, an air mattress. Boo. And is there anything in the suitcase? Suitcase is broken. <laughs> it's missing a wheel. And there seems to be nothing in it. It is Completely empty. Completely empty. Let's take a look anyway. They left us an empty suitcase. Oh, there's a box. It's in the box. Nothing but paper. Alright, so that's a big old nothing nada. I'm hoping we got three big mattresses. Got this nice double piece of glass. I am just really hoping that we can get all this on the old van. And the reason we have the old van is somebody was nice enough to hit my Hummer out front of my house. It'll be in the shop for a while, thanks to insurance being a crappy insurance company. What do we got here? We got two big. These are just. I think they're, these are stands, like a big platform stand for a display for a store or something. That's about all that makes sense to me. And we got a nice little bookshelf, but nothing hidden in there. Wow. See, I was hoping for some hidden goodies in this one. It seems to be just what you see, guys. Like that little desk. That desk is junk. It'll probably get broken up. But, yep, that seems to be all, all we got in here. So, all right, I'm going to get to loading. We'll talk to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching this short little video. This is an absolutely short one. Hey, everybody here from Locker Lunatics here. Sometimes you get 10 by 30 lockers for $10. Sometimes you get 5 by 5 lockers for $110. Let's see what $110 got us today in our tiny little locker. Dun, dun, dun. Let's bring you in, see what we got here. Bring you in, see what we got here. This was a tool locker. See a nice little ladder right there off the bat. It looked, this locker actually looked a lot bigger in the pictures. But it's a teeny tiny dude. So let's see what we got. Let me get you back here into the film, into the frame, and we'll pull some stuff out. Try and keep you in frame. This is a weird one, this tiny, tiny, tiny little locker. All right, we got a toolbox with no tools. Actually, I think this is for hair clippers. Sorry about my voice today, I'm a little bit hoarse. This looks like for a lawnmower. Maybe there's a lawnmower in there. Hmm? Maybe. What do we want to get first? Ooh, a sledgehammer. You can never go wrong with a sledgehammer. A lock. First little bag of tools. Craftsman tools we got. Just all the little tools and attachments, brake pads. Hey, there's a lithium battery. That's good to have. Maybe the chargers in here. I got a couple of batteries at the house with no chargers. That'd be good to have. Right. Here's that. Oh boy. There's a wedge in there. Yeah, this is here. Looks like we've got a chart, miscellaneous tools, two jacks. Not one jack, but two jacks. 
think that tarp is a tent, actually. A dos boot. Some chicken wire. Ooh, all right, chicken wire, yay. Hey, is that the charger? No, oh, that's a different kind of charger. A Milwaukee? That's a Milwaukee charger. That's worth a few bucks. Let's see if we can pull this ladder out. Well, that ladder's going to be a weird one. All right. Let's go in deep. A little circular saw. More miscellaneous tools. Let's go for a backpack. Hope you guys can see this. Cause I can't tell. And if you can't tell, I'm by myself again today. This looks like laptops and laptop parts and pieces. I mean, that looks like definite like parts and pieces. Somebody's working on a laptop. So, no real value there. Got some golf clubs in here. What kind of are they? These are Callaway. There we go, guys. Callaway golf clubs. How many of these do we got? Right, Callaway. Callaway driver. Or uh, irons. Oh, the drivers are in there somewhere. Look at that. Those are you guys can see that. Those are really nice Callaways. So right there is the price of the locker, guys. Callaway irons. Wow. Yeah, that's the price of the price of locker right there. So that, that actually saves the day. Here they come to save the day. They are Callaways. Callaway irons. I beat that. All right. I think these are uh, tent stakes. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Quite a few bags and stuff in here. There might be some good stuff in here yet. Let's see. We got that. Looks like part of a car. Cardboard. What's inside the cardboard? Oh, that's cool. An all black American flag. License plate. That's going on the Hummer. If I ever get it back. I don't know if you guys heard. Somebody ran into my Hummer sitting out in front of my house. They have e shirts therefore that means they're taking their time. I don't know how this one opens. It looks like tools. Yep, just a little tool set. All right. Got some uh, miscellaneous. I thought that was jewelry, it's not. <laughs> just a little tool. You don't know what you're going to find in the bottom of something. That's a laptop battery. There's a camera. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, it's a telescope. A little, little telescope. That's cool. Uh -huh. That's a cool little piece. NFL dad cup. Looks like a little uh, Bluetooth speaker. We have in this side pack, we got Q-tips. This side, we got nothing. Got all the pockets. Nope, that's our pocket with nothing. Right. Roll back in. Or some stuff in here, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Be cars, be cars, be cars. It is, oh guys, check. If these are red lines, dude, I'm gonna crap my pants. This is an old Hot Wheels case. There might be some red lines in here, man. These are oldies. Oh, wow. Check that dude out. Guys, right here. This is the price. There's a red line. That one's a beater, but it's a red line. See any more red lines? Any more red lines? What else we got? There's a red line. Oh, dude, that's a cool silver red line Mustang. You guys can see that little guy. That's awesome. Okay, that's just tray number one, though. What's in tray number two? Come on, red line. Oh, there we go. Couple of boys that were up to no good. All right, Jigs has that's a twenty-five dollar car right there right now. Any more red lines in here? Lots of, it's kind of a mixture of Matchbox, Hot Wheels. Oh, that is a great red line right there. Check that guy out. Some of these are good cars. Little tank, tanks a lot. Got a red line, looking for red lines. Do we have any more red lines? Yep, no red lines. I think that's about it on the red lines. Let's see what this one here is. I don't know if I can get it out. I guess our hands used to be smaller when we were kids. Yeah, that's a red line too. I've had that one before. If you guys know what a red line is, if you look at the car, at the wheel, I don't know if that's coming in, that little wheel will have a red line around it. And if they're from the 60s and 70s and they're Hot Wheels, 
They're worth quite a bit more money with that little red line. And that one's not. But we found a car case with red lines. That is what we like to see. That right there, that makes my day. All right. That's pretty cool. What else will we find since that was in there? There ain't no telling. Hey, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to pull this ladder out of here because it's in the way. And put this in the car and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got some more, a lot more totes and stuff in here than I thought. So let's get in here. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Let's hope for some more cars. I mean, seeing those red lines, that's, that's cool. Cause it could be a car. Oh, there's good stuff in that. Well, first of all, this is a smashed up iPad, uh, laptop. We got some multimeter type stuff. Ooh, that's in the little box. Just a little box. I don't know what that is. Some kind of sport pal. Looks like a fish knife that folds out. That's pretty cool. Too light. Not in there, but look at this. This is a Pentax old school camera. That could be worth a few bucks. Check that thing out. That's pretty cool. And then once again, another box of just miscellaneous tools, wrenches. Uh, there's an iPad ad adapter. That's for a ceiling fan remote. A little headlight flashlight thing. So we got a, another little fan, suction cup fan. That's all Erwin hole saw. That's a nice piece. That's 10 bucks. Miscellaneous tools, some sandpaper and sanding stuff. And then what is this? Just a cool little wooden box. I'll take totes like that all day out of a little five by five. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you don't feel very cool. Look at that. <laughs> There's his uh, homemade pipe, which uh, we always find something to do with that. This is a... What do we got in here? These are files, it looks like. Possibly just personal paperwork. Let's take a look down in here. What do we got here? U.S. General. Well, I can't get it open. Gotta be smarter than the box. Oh, right there, I bet. Maybe? Yeah, cool. Ooh, that's one of those precision, that's like a digital little precision measure. That, that's actually cool. That's probably worth a couple dollars, guys. Hey, where are we at? Back to the paperwork. Make sure it's all paperwork. Maybe it's something cool. So far, it just looks like all paperwork. Oh, God damn it. We got a heavy red tube. What's that? What's that? Okay, we got just kind of garage stuff. Huge nylon rope, that's good to have. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Electric horn. Oh, those are like like those horns that sound like a Ferrari. Like the, I've seen those before. Looks like okay. these are individual boxes. Those are oil filters. Let's figure out what those are for. We got a DeWalt drill. Looks like brand new. A little light. Oh, that's a projection light for a uh, for a DLP TV. If you're not seeing that, I don't know if you can see that or not. So we got some straps in here. We got another drill. There's a gun holster. It's a holster. Can we find what goes in it? Ooh, and a belt. Look at that. Gotta like that. We got an ammo belt. Uh, I think that looks like, I don't know, fishing or a game or some sort. I'm excited now. What else are we going to find down in here? Oh, what is that? That's some kind of a clamp pipe holder. I don't know for what. Pretty cool piece. <laughs> Probably a $20, $30 piece by itself. We've got, hey, my buddy Eric was just looking for a soldering gun. There we go. Got a soldering gun. We got sandpaper down in here, books, manuals. No pew pew yet. Oh, it's an, that's a tire. It's not a tire, it's like a bike or something like that. We have staple guns. Refuel, I don't know what that is. Some little knives in here. Some wrenches. Pole saw. Great garage sale stuff. There's a clip. Nine millimeter. What was it? That's missing lesson. That might actually, it could fit something that I have. But where's the stuff that comes in it? All right, let's keep going. That, that excites me right there, guys. Well, here, I'll turn down here so you guys can see. Make sure you can see which way do I want to go, which way am I going. 
Right or left, right or left, right or left, right, right down the middle. All right. Oh, boy. oh, that one's so heavy I can't pull it out. Give me a second. I'm going to disappear into a locker. All right, let's see. It's got a few things on top. Let's grab oh, no way. Ammo box. Ammo. All right. So we got nine millimeter. 38 special. I do not have one of those. Now I got to buy one. Those look like blanks. These all full. Okay, those aren't full. What do we got here? Okay, that's, there's nothing in that. Feels kind of heavy though. Let's go ahead and dig down. This thing is for holding bullets. Oh, there's got to be something. Empty. Empty. No, those are all empty. So that was just the weight of the box. But right there on top. 38 special, 38 special, and uh, 9 millimeter and some blanks. And just the box itself is cool. And just finding that box is cool. To mention the ammo that's in it so far, dude, it's a great locker. All right, let's go. Toaster! Won't be needing that for the bathtub. I like this locker. Right, let's see. Some kind of paper. Remington, but it's empty. There's still hope though. Here's a bucket. Bucket's got drills and drill bit or drill bits. Huge channel locks. Little miscellaneous tools. Phone case. We got some radiator block. Around the bottom. It looks like just some ratchets, wrenches, things like that. Just tools. That's what I was expecting. Okay, let's see. What's this? It's another little tool bag here. What do we got? This has got tools. It's got vice grips. It's got wrenches. It's got some drill bits. That's what I was expecting out of this locker. If you come along, those are always good to have. All right. We got a little spotlight. I'm getting excited after seeing all that pew pew stuff. All right. Here we go. A lot more stuff in this locker than I thought, folks. That's for sure. What we got in here? We've got some shoes, some I don't knows. I think that's a little handheld paper shredder, air conditioner things for putting free on in. We got hair trimmers, some plumbing stuff, the heating pad, a little wall mount, broken handle. Yeah, nothing too great in this one. I don't know what that is. I think there's some kind of vape, some kind of vape or something. There's a watch, and it's working. It is a Armatron, a little Armatron watch, and it's working. Da, da, da. All right, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And yeah, I'd like to find some like sights and some scopes. Oh, there's the uh, the top of that panel. So nothing in there. Oh, there's something in there. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, that's all paperwork. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Got excited. Check this side. What we got? These are all like uh, business cards, all right? Thought they were maybe gift cards. Ugh. Holy cow, probably books. Woo! Woo! What are we, what a, guys, what the heck? These are all gun parts. All gun parts. This might be all firearm stuff. Holy cow. That is not a gun, I can tell you that. It's just parts, probably manuals. Colt, Browning, all these are empty. Glock, empty. Walter, empty. Whatever was supposed to be in there, empty. Whoa, I see where the weight was. Ho, 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 ho. 38 special. We've got 22 long. Where's the guns? All right, maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in here. What is this? What is this? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, guys, these are old black powder gunpowder things for putting the powder in the gun in the in the end of the gun. If these are authentic, 
They are worth a lot of money. Yeah, these are worth a lot of money if these are authentic. And the rest of this, this is like pellet, uh, uh, bullets. This is all black powder stuff in here. I actually have some black powder guns, so that's kind of cool. What do you got? Oh. Guys, check this black powder gun out. Holy cow. It's got serial numbers, everything. This is the real deal. That is a black powder gun. Yes. All right. Oh, that, that doesn't get better than that. I mean, it does, but I mean, you're not expecting it in this locker. That's more gun parts. Those are, oh yeah, side hold. Oh my gosh, guys. This locker, holy cow. This locker. I'm just going to tilt this up for you. This entire tote is filled with ammo. <coughs> there are hundreds and hundreds of rounds in here. Anywhere from 9mm, more 9mm, 38 specials. There's gun cleaning kits in here. We've got 22 longs. More 9mm, lots of 38 and 9mm, that seems to be about what he had the most of. But this is a literal box of gold. But alright, we've got a couple more bags and another tote looking thing. We're going to put this in the car and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got the car loaded. This is awesome. we got a few more things to see. I'm very excited about this one. But it just doesn't feel very heavy. This looks almost like military grade. Yeah, it didn't feel too heavy. I was hoping, hoping for those pew pews, man. We might do a recap when we get home with some of this stuff. This is pretty cool stuff. We got some uh, tools, flashlights. Nice little rechargeable flashlight. Some more tools. Trying to get down to the bottom, look for anything good in here. Police medicine. You know, I haven't found yet, guys. I haven't found not a single. Hey, there, look, the Nintendo Switch Zelda game. Well, I wasn't expecting that in there. All right, is that any more of those? A really nice little knife. Kind of, well, it's missing part of it. Too bad. It was a nice knife. A magnifying glass. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Zelda. I was not intending to see in there. Let's see, got this little button right here. Let's see if there's nothing in that. No, nope, nothing in that. That box was kind of, that box looked way better than it was. But hey guys, I cannot complain. This has been, all that ammo, wow. And a black powder uh, pistol, wow. Right, what we guys, these are all gun holsters. All different gun holsters. No guns in there. <coughs> Just the holsters. Whole bag of gun holsters. Awesome. Guys, if you haven't already liked this one, like this video. It is awesome. I can wait. Go ahead. Hit it. You can do it. Like it. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm on my hands and knees. All right, let's see. Oh, God. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. Oh, this one's heavy. Come on. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, all electrical motors. This is not the one. This is not the one. This looks like all car parts. We got like, that's a whole wheel bearing and hub bearing. That's another, I think it's gun related. Yeah, that's the end of a, a stock right there. We got big old oil filters, a fan, some kind of little motor, more motors and pumps and fuel things. Lost my lights again. How about that? These are not very long lights. We're just going to bear with this one. Yeah, that, there we go. This is all car parts. Not the kind of parts I wanted, but hey, they're car parts. Car parts are money. They'll sell. They will sell. Boy, we're getting down there, guys. I got a tote and a backpack left in there. Comes a backpack. What's in the backpack? That is a... I do not know. Are these like security cameras, maybe? Let's see what we got in here. Hey, there's the Craftsman Charger. That's cool. I needed that. We got some shampoo. 
shaving stuff. Shaving stuff. What is this? This is a Telecaption 4000 closed caption decoder. Okay, don't know what that is. Some kind of old satellite piece, probably. All right, once again, that's not what we wanted to find. We've got oh, the color changing little rope light LED thing. Those are cool. Those are always cool. Okay, anything in the front? We've got more zippers. What are these? What are these? Do we have anything else in here? Oh, there is more stuff in here. What is that? Is that another compartment? Oh, no, that just goes into the bottom. All right, I got excited for a second. All right, that was nothing. All right, here we go. We got weed trimmers, bush trimmers. Oh, we got a pool stick. Is it a good name brand? Some of the Vikings and McDormand's and stuff, they can be big money. What do we got here? Sport shift, just that's a cheap one. Probably 20 bucks worth the case. All right, no big deal. One more. Oh my god, guys, this might be the heaviest case yet. Oh. I can't even pull it. This has got to be. This has got to be ammo or something. Got to be. Ah. It's locked on this side, but what? This is all ammo. Skeet loads. This 12 gauge then probably. 410. 410 gauge. Oh my goodness. Winchester 12 gauge. Look, look at that, guys. Look at that. This whole thing is filled with 12 gauge shots. Now, these aren't 12 gauge. What are these? How are these open even? Okay. What are these? Oh, those are 12 gauge. Look at that. These are, uh, well, yeah. 20 gauge. Those are 20 gauge Winchester Plus for skeet. Guys, the money that is in here is ridiculous. There's more 410s. I see. What's this Magnum? Three inch Magnums. What are these? Sears and Roebuck. Those are pretty old. 20 gauge. All right. Got some more 20s. Maybe they're not 12s. I was hoping they were 12 gauge. I don't have a 20 gauge. I might have a 20 gauge. I think I got an old 410. Yeah, look at that. Wow. All ammo, this whole box. All the way down. Is it all the way? It is all the way down. All right. Can't even hardly push it. All right, so that's heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, we got some cool bottles in here. And some cool bottles. Cool bottles. Another cool bottle. And other than that, I see the handle to this. I see. Hey, check this out. Who is that? It's, a, it's an autographed, signed poster for somebody. Restless Heart. Who sang Restless Heart? Yeah, check it out. It's autographed. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Okay, other than that, we've got some slides. And last, but not least, two TV trays. And that'll wrap it up for this 5x5 five five awesome unit. Once again, like, subscribe, share. We want to see you on there. We want to see you in the comments saying, hey, that's cool, or I don't care for guns. Either way, it's your choice. But you know what I feel? Second Amendment, baby. Let's keep America great. Until next time, love every one of you. We'll see you real soon. All right, hey everybody, we're back at the house. Went through some of the stuff. Wanted to show you some of the cool finds. Now we do have the uh, the flasks for uh, gunpowder, <coughs> all the slugs, the 45 slugs, and the 45 caliper uh, black powder pistol. Really cool. About a hundred dollar pistol. We got this little uh, signed Restless Heart thing. It looks like they're going for about 30 to 50 bucks on eBay. Kind of cool. Got some ammo boxes, but uh, elephant in the room, guys. Look at all this ammo. We've got 12 gauge. We've got 20 gauge. We've got 410. As we move down here, we've got 9 millimeter. We have this whole thing here is 38 special. 
We've got some 22. We've got a cat, a half bald cat. We've got 22. We got some 45 auto. A little calibration machine. We got a scope. We've got some uh, 270 rounds there. Look at those bad boys. And check out those little 12 gauge slugs right there, man. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that thing. Those are pretty awesome. We got a gun belt. We've got some gun parts. We've got holsters. Really nice little uh, Pentax uh, K1000 camera. In good shape. Those go pretty well. We got a nice little pull stick. And then the, uh, the Callaways. The little Callaway uh, Razor X's, I think they are. We've got five through nine. Those go for anywhere. The cheapest I've seen on eBay was 125 bucks. So we did pretty good on our $110 locker. And that's not including the ladder and the tools and lots of miscellaneous. This was just some of the cool stuff I thought I'd point out. But once again, thanks for liking our, our video and hope you loved it. Hope you liked watching it. Please like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks, guys.